Hey guys, it's been a while since I did a walk and talk and it's so pretty today. Um, I just wanted to see if I could catch anything, meaning the sound might degrade as we continue to walk here. So bear with me. It might end up just being a short to share a little piece of my heaven with you. So um, I wanted to talk about retro causality and prayer and faith. Now, since this is a walk and talk and I have to pay attention to not get splattered in the middle of the road, um, this may just be a superficial going over and then we can dig into it at a later time. Look how pretty, look at the sky. Normal clouds, cumulus clouds. They weren't like that yesterday, but they are today, and it's very possible we just never n noticed it before. NASA does have cloud-making machines, be aware. <laughs> but uh, I like to think that in the garden, before the fall, Adam and Eve had like a steady mist, maybe, like the tropics almost. All right, so retro causality in regards to prayer and faith. Now, we were one of the first channels, maybe the first channel, to start defining that word and recognizing that it was happening in our reality. Now, whether that means we noticed it in the media or our own lives, that's up for a little debate because we've all shared information for the last two years that seems, seems to straddle both sides of that, so... We can discuss that uh, if you'd like. But re what retro causality is, is basically you experience or you recognize what is happening in your life as being the cause and effect, but it's flipped. You experience the effect, you don't really know why, and then you experience the cause. Sorry guys, I had to pause that because I walked by a family gathering and I don't like to show people and, you know, private information online if it can be avoided, whether it's legal or not, regardless. <sighs> Excuse me. So, retro causality is when you experience the effect before the cause. Much like you can find, which we just discovered, or I just discovered, in Alice in Wonderland. Oh my gosh, I have to show you. So this is what I deal with, and of course it happens when I'm making a video. Watch. Wow. Look how cool. If you've never seen one, don't know what it is. I'm sure it has a lot to do with harvesting. Like a scythe. Multiple times at the same time. <laughs> TIs always talk about like ambulances and cop cars and alarms going off. I get a whole parade. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to make fun or... Or why buy? You know, why go on? I really miss my dog, and uh, I'm trying to just fake my way through that. Or not fake it, but just be happy for him. To be able to celebrate that he is in a new place, whether I want him to be or not. Alright, I might turn around here just because of how hot it is today. And the way traffic is. But uh, we'll see. Yeah, now they're down there by the pond. See, I live in a rural area, not too far from Youngstown, Pittsburgh, or Cleveland, but it's like pretty rural for the cities that we are near. So we're gonna wait so these cars pass and we'll continue on. Look at that sky, it's beautiful, just gorgeous. And over here, if you can see, see the pond? See how pretty? I try to show you guys all of this in all the seasons so you can see it. Oh my gosh, what is that now? Every time I do a video, and I don't do live ones anymore going down this road or across this bridge because they fail. They stop working. <laughs> so we're going to continue on, but I'm going to cross the street because there's more of a girth over here. And it's proper. Walk away, ride with. So retro causality and prayer. Now, again... This gets very woo-woo for me, and please understand, I'm sharing my personal testimony. So this gets very uh, close to home when I'm trying to explain these things occurring. 
Now, I know some of you email me and you have shared that this is happening in your life too, that I shouldn't be alarmed or whatever. But, um, for example, recently, well, not too recently, maybe about three or four months ago, it was still the wither winter season. And you can probably go back to a live and I probably mention it. But I prayed that God would give me my purgatory here, that I wouldn't have to deal with all that. I also prayed and said I would do anything to help souls get saved, go through any suffering, as long as it was God willed, I would do whatever he wanted if it was to the salvation of souls, but especially first, of course, my family. Looking back, now again, this is 2020, you know, 2020 vision. This is looking back. I didn't know it at the time, but looking back, I keep wondering why all these events kicked off and why all these negative things happened to me when, lo and behold, I prayed for it. I literally asked for it. Not before it, because down here we are inverted to God's kingdom. So God gave me what I prayed for. It was just before the space-time that we occupy on Earth. Do you see what I'm trying to get at here? I hope that makes sense, which is why I'm gonna end this video so that we can all get on the same page, you know, we can have a conversation below. And then we're gonna talk about this more because I am seeing this as usual, not just in my personal life, but on the public scape as well. And it's information you might wanna know. And it's hard to know what to do when you're going backwards and you don't even realize it. And I just recently bought a Rosicrucian book to see what their beliefs were. Lo and behold, the day after I get the thought to make this video, because I thought about it a few days ago, I read a chapter in a lecture about the Rosicrucians and they believed that this is indeed some type of purgatory and they were very in line with the things we talked about on this channel and the main one. So. I'm going to run. I hope you enjoyed the um, nice share. I'm going through some physical pain. Uh, something happened to my knee and, and soul pain. And so if I sound weird, it's because of that and because I'm walking. But I want to talk about this. So go ahead and start a conversation below. And let's talk about retro causality and how it has affected us the last several years. All right, guys, I love you so much. Bye.